everyone, it's your boy Abel Lee, and today I have a DIY. So we're gonna need a vase, some napkins that I found at the Dollar Tree, and they have like this vintage look that I really like, a sponge brush, and my potch in the matte finish. So let's get started. I don't know about you guys, but I love doing DIYs. So I was walking through the Dollar Tree and I said to myself, what can I make this Valentine that would be special for anybody? Um, I wanna make some baskets, but I want it of course to be different. Um, so I can't wait to show you what my finished look is. But I also wanted this vase because I have some pens that I would like to sit in there and some scissors. So basically like a, like a pencil holder, um, only this is a taller and wider version. So again, let's get started. So how's your day, day going so far? Mine has been very well. We were very busy at the clinic today and um, I'm a little bit tired, but that doesn't stop me from making my videos. I'm addicted to making DIYs and projects and crafts and pocket letters and all that. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you my new pocket letter. Now, look at this paper. Is this pretty or what? All right. So, there's different ways of doing this. You can just grab your sponge. Whoa. I'm dropping stuff. Come on now, Abel. So there's two ways of doing this. You can go ahead and grab your Mod Podge here, put a thin layer on your vase, cut small pieces of this paper, add it, another thin layer on the top, and you're done. Or you can try doing it. This is a little bit harder though. Thin layer of Mod Podge again. Grab your paper and lay it flat like so. And the, the hard part about it is this area where you're gonna have to fold. So I think the best way is to cut it in pieces and I think it should look great. So let's try that. The perfect touch for your desk area. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that you and I have an appointment in my next video.